Welcome back, everybody. This is the Johnny Mayor, and I am continuing with Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. So, in my last episode, we took out some very weird shadow enemies, and now we have access to four room locks and also a brand new room that we can use. And that room is the Hero's Room. So, let's check out that room and see exactly what it does. If you go to home, you can see that it has the Valor. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> But it increases the stats of nearby allies by 20%. So if they're adjacent to your party, they will get a boost in stats. So not super helpful, but definitely something you can use if you want. But we are continuing to hunt another world eater. So we're going to head to Muku Village. Which of course reminds me of Super Mario RPG with the Muku enemy and the Muku cookies. What a small town. So what are we going to do? We staying here for the night? In... What? You, little sep girl, watch where you're walking. I nearly stomped on you. Uh, I'm sorry, sir. You're a red flank, right? I've never seen one myself. Look at all those scars on him. Hmm, that sword. What about it? Mm, nothing. Uh, my mistake. Okay. So let's head around Muku Village and talk to everybody. Gather some information. This is a. Very old, decrepit village, as the man says, and uh, basically it's been abandoned by everybody except kind of these die-hard, kind of hardcore citizens. But they do have a little bit of information about the World Eater. And we find out that the Red Flank is following us around as we talk to people. That's suspicious. Yeah, that's an optimistic point of view. That's where we need to head, the middle of the desert. And we find out that there's kind of their own religion involved in that cult. Shocking, I know. That's an odd question. So this young woman had something happen to her. She has this scar on her that she feels ruins her beauty. And this uh, village is kind of taking her in and they're trying to take care of her because they don't have a lot of young people. I think you're focused a little bit too much on your appearance. Hmm. Wonder where she came from. Hopefully not that cult. And the uh, red flank will continue to regale us with his uh, viewpoint on everything that's being said. Chubby customer. <laughs> they couldn't have just called it a customer. Seems odd. But they emphasize that they're chubby. Hmm. The religion of this area is called the Apis. And it's Granny Flow. It really would be nice if you could actually buy items in this game. I mean, you can buy gig addicts, etc., and decors, but not weaponry. Uh oh. Looks like we have a battle coming up. I don't know. Well, I 
I guess. That is one way of looking at it. 75, wow. All right, let's talk to the preaching sap. We're gonna get a very interesting story here about the creation of the world. So it started with men. Who spread throughout the world. They fell into bickering and war which led to oblivion of uh, probably Elder Scrolls variety. So then the gods created the Nerids. Who did not want power, but also could not mate by themselves, so they went extinct. That's kind of conflictual to what we know. And the Taurus, Wow. Drown the world in lava seems kind of extreme. So then it was the Dracon. That's the uh, race that Dio is a member of. Then the angels. We've seen them a little bit. So as you can see, each race, according to this preaching sap, kind of had their own little issues. So though they were kind of put on earth with the mistakes of the past in mind, they still had their own kind of problems they had to deal with. And uh, the moral of the story is we need kind of all races to sort of deal with each other. And that stabilizes society. It's a good message, I guess. Tolerance. That's all for today. May the blessings of our creators follow you throughout the day. Now we have a new character. I see faith thrives here. Humans really rely on their faith, don't they? Is that something Pen needs too? What's going on, Danette? I think I'm having deja vu. It feels like I've been here before. Miss, is something wrong? What the heck? Daddy! No! Run away! What is going on? What's wrong? Miss, it's okay. This isn't a bad place. Look, your friends are here. They're worried about you. Oh, I just... Something popped into my head. Something scary. But important, too. Something. Miss, don't force yourself. You don't have to remember. Everything comes and goes according to the will of the gods of Apis. Ha! What an utterly simplistic idea! 
Your precious gods aren't good for shit. That voice, where did that come from? Is it a demon? Devil trying to seduce me? Why would I hear the voice of the enemy? My merciful gods, please forgive me. The enemy? The hell does that mean? Nah, he's not a devil. He's more like... a pimple. He can't do anything on his own. <laughs> Eat me, stupid cow! And watch that filthy mouth of yours! It might get you killed someday. This guy. She really doesn't think, does she? Walking or talking, she doesn't look ahead. What'd you say, old man? Over there ranting to nobody. Are you senile or something? Now that you mention it, he's been following us this whole time. Can we help you? Oh no, don't mind me. When you say it like that, it makes me even more curious. Yeah, something's going on with him. You young seps are just so yippy. <laughs> How can you people stand it? An enemy attack! Creators, bless us. Dang it, we can't even get away from battle here. So now we're gonna have a little bit of a prolonged battle against some brand new enemy types. And we'll take that on in my next episode. Monsters are stampeding into town. Let's go. We can take them. We gotta get rid of them before they trample the town. Thanks for watching, viewers. And I'll see y'all next time. I shall look into this. So long.